Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Seven Monks Channel. Today we're playing the DJ, and I've been waiting for this for a quite long time. I'm a huge UZ fan, actually. I'm a very huge UZ fan. I love all the designs in UZ except for a couple ones. But um, yeah, I picked this up. It's pretty expensive. Forty one in in Australia. It's pretty expensive, though. I don't really think. It should be that expensive because I saw it in Hong Kong is way cheaper. But unfortunately, during that time, my luggage is already overload and I can't buy anymore. So anyway, let's look at the size. So we have some actions and gimmicks, and we got weapons. We got some introduction of the actions, and then at the other side, we got the introduction. If you really like to read that, then uh, stop here and take a moment to read it because I'm not going to. Oh, you can see the background. Uh, Hyakushiki and Setter and Psycho Gundam and DJ. <coughs> right, let's open the box. Five packages and a instruction menu down below. So DJ, this is DJ, and uh, there's some information. Flip it to the back. Review from free gimmicks, weapons, and the same introduction here. If you stop here to read it, and then here we got um, weapon introduction. <coughs> sorry, and uh, also the suit introduction right here at the corner, right here, and then we got weapons introduction specs, and then now here's the instruction guide. Yeah, so basically that's it. And now I'm just gonna open up the runners. All right, so here we got an average number of the runners. So first we got the uh, Saber's impact part. It's curved, it's a twin blade. It's very good, twin blade. And then next up we got potty caps. And we got <clears throat> stickers. This is a very limited number of stickers. So I assume the color separation on the self is gonna be very good. Next, we got an F runner. This is the shoulders and the head parts, and nothing really special. <coughs> this is the G runner. It's all soft, so it's for all the uh, tubes and pipes on the gampla. B2 runner. We got a uh, backpack, legs, arms, and some part of the shoulders and the handpiece armor we got e2 runner this is the cockpit the thrusters and not sure which part of the oh this is actually the head d2 runner we got the joints of the inner frames the inner frames and the joints for the dj a2 runner this is the backpack the shoulders feet and some part of the legs this is the B1 runner, the legs, uh, backpack, and shoulders, some part of the some part of the hands and the head and waist as well. This is the C3 C3 runner, uh, basically the weapons, the clay bazooka and the beam rifle. This is E1 runner, torso and the saber parts. This is the A1 runner, backpack, waist part. Uh, torso, uh, shoulders, and some part of the legs. This is the D1 runner. Uh, it's the inner frame of the whole MS. We got some hand options, thrusters, and some part of the, and some part of the waist part. I mean, no, no, no. I mean the waist part and the torso part in the joint. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the review.
Hey, and welcome back to a review of the DJ, and this is the finishing of it. I need to say though, there's some disappointment about this Gunpla, and also there are some uh, very good design and uh, the color separation that I need to commend about Bandai. And overall, the movement I think is very, very good. And but sadly, there's a couple parts that I don't really like, and I'll point out later at the review. So mostly. Um, all the color separation done by parts they even do they even make some color separation at the thrusters by parts not stickers but parts that's a very huge improvement and i absolutely love them to keep doing like this and you might look at this and be like oh does this look like uh get a gook yes this is right this is this uh dj design is based on the get a gook so that's why they look very similar and um this is probably like one of my very very like expecting a lot like i when when i heard this scum from being first released i was expecting a lot but when i built it uh there's some part that i just feel kind of disappointed but i will talk about that later so uh as usual we're gonna dive into the articulation then we're gonna dive into the accessory and then the conclusion and uh anyway i'm not gonna talk too much let's start the review first of all let's look at the head so the head is a very good color separation they even got you this soft piece at the back here so when you move it is when you move the head uh it's following the movements but the poor but the problem about this uh very the soft part the soft tube and on the head is very easy to pop out if you you know accidentally pull it it will just fall out so, and you have to put it back in it is pretty annoying so uh but it's still a very good feature so we don't have to see you know fix head situation now we can move it and then we can see the head part has been moving it together as well so now i think that is a pretty good improvement and the only thing that i'm very disappointing about this head is uh you see mono eye you see this is the ms with mono eye normally in xg like saku series uh the mono eyes is movable this one on dj is completely immovable they didn't even give you the option like left left eye or right eye they didn't even give you that option to change like they didn't even give you extra pieces for you to pull it out and then you can just switch it on uh you cannot they it's always going to be staring at the front this is the part that i mostly don't like about it's 20 it's 2018 2019 it's the start of 2019 this gamma coming at the end of 2018 december uh i think at 2018 standards that's not acceptable like you could just like add a little little switch now but also for us to move it but bandai didn't do that uh very not surprising at all because they sometimes are lazy uh most of all the stickers being used is the uh forehead here uh the head is capable of moving up and down and moving side to side and with the soft with the soft part connecting to the back now let's look at the torso the torso a uh, very perfect color separation i absolutely love it you just need to do some pen alignment to you know kind of give it a bit more to look at so as you can see uh this time the, the waist is a good thing it gives you a double a double point for you to move it so you can move the upper upper torso you can move it whatever you want and the red piece here you can disconnect it and then allow it to move more the waist part here is very special this time uh, it's got two layers to move so first layer is here and then the second layer is the waist piece so two way piece here they can move very differently as you can see it's moving layer by layer so i really need to say that it's a very good thing uh, the side skirt however don't really have any movement so I wish there's a little bit more movement, but apparently it don't during to the oversize of the uh, side skirt. And at the back skirt here, we also have a spot for you to put on the, the I don't know what's that called, the sword type weapon on the DJ, and I'll show you later. And now let's move on to the arms and the legs movement. All right, moving on to the shoulders. As you can see, the shoulder got a different type of design so the left arm is basically not really much except for this saku type uh, spikes 
but the, but Osaku is a spike. This one I don't I don't really sure. This one is for storing weapons, and at the other side we got shields. So both so the shields here, as you can see, to both of the pieces is movable, but it's a ball joint, which means it's very easy to pop out. You see. I don't even need to use any strength to get this out. So this is a part that bothered me the most because I, because ball joint is a very huge problem about anything. As you can see, ball joint is very disgusting. Like uh, ball joints that with no like pe with pieces that have absolutely no depths, like this kind of shield, it were very easy to pop out, and I don't really like that kind of thing because it's very annoying when you posting it's gonna be consistently popping out so as you can see so the arm uh, 360 rotation the arm is bent at a good angle very very good angle in fact the hands down here is movable as well the whole arm is able to lift 90 uh, the extra piece here is also lift 90 as well as uh, the other side though unfortunately only the shield down here is movable and then this top piece here is Spring with uh, with very small movement, actually very limited movement, but uh, it's still able to move 360 if you move it very carefully. As you can see, it's very easy to pop out. This is why I don't like the this kind of ball joint design because it's very easy to pop out when you move the arms, and I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I just need to say though, and I also forget to mention though, the whole waist is able to move. Uh, in a very small angle is probably 90 that's the maximum 90 degrees so overall it's still a good very good movement and then it's just the shoulders part man i just don't really like the shoulders part right moving on let's talk about the legs so the legs here uh i honestly need to say though the legs is pretty good and this time they actually gives you the color separation on the on the feet oh that is actually very surprising because you know back if this was made in like 10 years ago technology they're gonna need you to rep repaint this thing i'm just saying that and all right, all right let's talk about movement movement so during the side skirt it's not really lifting that much though so you, it only can kick out of 45 uh front kick if you move both of the waist joint here just give me a second it's pretty hard to move uh, i'm just gonna move this one if you move it it can kick to 90 at the front kick to a slightly to the, to the back and then a whole legs movement is uh, very good as you can see you can bend this much and the tube and then it's a same design like the head so there's a soft tube at the back that can move along when you were bending the legs i love that idea uh, also this this armor piece here is also slightly movable the feet is move can move front back move slightly to the side there's no double joint so you cannot move the feet um, uh, you don't have any extra move on the feet now let's talk about the backpack so let's flip it down side all the ramparts here is a individual piece i love the idea this for a very long time we finally see some frosted color separation so it's a pick joint about the is a picture about the backpack you basically just put it in without thinking anything uh, both of these side is a ball is a ball joints it's a ball joint so you can move it anywhere else the wings up here is an individual movement so you is a so you can move it uh vertically so you can move it to front put it to the back the piece the color separation here non-sticker being used you just basically snapped in it but there's a problem if you push it too hard like if you when you move the wings if you accidentally push it the whole wing piece will fall out and you have to snap it back again and it's very hard to hold it tight so i suggest you if you have some special glue just glue it okay just prevent it from popping out the side here have two hooks for you to store the bazooka i will show you later and also i forgot to mention the stickers so the yellow piece on the shoulders is stickers the red part here is also stickers i just forgot to mention about that so now let's introduce the a uh, the accessory so first we got a open hand for the left hand and we got a trigger hand on the right hand so you can switch it around for the hand options though it's not really that much it's just like the normal accessory so and the second thing here we got is a bazooka so the clay bazooka in here sorry so we got the clay bazooka here is the same mold as the uh, Hyakushiki one and you can put it on to the MS I will show you later how to do that and not really much though this isn't any color separation at all if you really want to do one then you can recolor it your own 
third thing we got, we got a beam rival here and the tube on the rivals you have to repaint into yellow they don't give you any kind of separation at all it's just it just uh two pieces snapping together and there you go and lastly is the beam javelin <laughs> i don't really know what's that called but the details on it is pretty nice as you can see right here it does come with two beam saber effect parts so you can put it on and then and then hold it on the ms it does have a storage part for you and I will show you later in the video but let's just take a moment to look at the details it's pretty nice I, I have to say sometimes when we receive weapons like this they don't really give us a uh, very obvious detail they just they just give you playing and this time they give you uh, quite good details and I'm very happy about that. Now let's let me show you how to storage the weapons first so the bazooka you have two options you can store it at the side of the shoulder so basically you just you just put it on like this it's not really different though and it's not really holding that good though in standing position is good though but uh if you shake it it's still got a very good uh holding ability so for a small piece and a simple clip like this i'm very good about it. i feel i think it's very good about it and the second thing here you can you can either you see there's a joint here you can actually snap it at the hook at the back and there you go so pretty much the same like the hakushiki so not really much the different and then the javelin you can you can store it at the back you just basically simply just put it in like this nothing else need to do and it's holding quite tight though so i think you need to be a little bit careful when you try to take take it off from the back waist though right so this is the end of the review of the dj so hope you guys like this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel before i go i just want to say a couple things though uh it's a definitely a very good gunplay for you to play with and i absolutely love the design of it and i absolutely love the uh color separation and the separate parts to snap on i actually love it but the problem is i just don't like the part that they don't have a movable mono eye on the head like come on man that's not really that hard like at least give us a piece for us to you know switch around but apparently they didn't so kind of like a sad thing but anyways i just i just i just want to say though if you got a good price to buy it just buy one because it's not going to disappoint you it's a very fun gunplay to mess around with and the movement is certainly very good so i recommend you to do it as well and anyways, this is the end of the video, and I'll see you in another review. Goodbye.